For months it was silent. The highest, most distant human-made object in history, Voyager 1, was drifting alone in the abyss, transmitting nothing but gibberish. After 45 years of groundbreaking exploration, it seemed the journey had come to an end. Until now. Suddenly the signal returned, clear, consistent, impossible, and the data it brought with it has scientists stunned. One Nobel Prize winning physicist has issued a chilling warning. This changes everything. We might be focusing on something that shouldn't exist. What has Voyager 1 located at the outermost reaches of interstellar space? Why are some experts whispering that this may be the key to unlocking the greatest cosmic mystery of all? Keep following us because this is not simply a mission in space. This could be the first message from the unknown. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was built to last a few years, maybe a decade. Instead, it has endured for 45 years in the harshest environment imaginable. It flew past Jupiter, past Saturn, and then was flung outward by gravity into deep space beyond the pull of the planets. What made this mission possible? Not only brilliant engineering, but a cosmic occurrence that happens once every 176 years. The planets were perfectly aligned, allowing engineers to slingshot Voyager from one world to another using gravity, conserving energy and propelling it farther and faster than ever imagined. They called it the Grand Tour and it worked. Now Voyager 1 is over 14 billion miles from Earth traveling in a place where no human signal had previously reached until Voyager sent one back. And what it just sent makes no scientific sense. After months of corrupted data, something changed. Voyager 1 started retransmitting readable information. Only this time the data wasn't just strange, it was inexplicable. Scientists detected unusual plasma fluctuations, shifts in magnetic fields, and an unexpectedly high density of particles. But the most shocking part? These readings are not behaving like anything we've ever measured in interstellar space. According to one physicist, it's like the spacecraft is no longer just outside the solar system. It's outside something else entirely. What's more, the orientation of cosmic rays and the directions of magnetic lines are misaligned, appearing to cross with Voyager 1 into a new kind of space. And no model of interstellar physics can yet explain what it's seeing. It's as if the rules of reality are changing. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the outer boundary of the sun's influence, it entered what scientists believed was empty interstellar space. But the data now shows that this region is not at all empty. Voyager is picking up turbulence, plasma waves, and charged particle storms that don't seem to have a pattern source. Even worse, there are gravitational anomalies. The spacecraft seems to drift slightly, unexplainably as if influenced by forces we can't detect. The stars are not pulling it. It's not hitting asteroids. So what's causing this subtle but measurable motion? Voyager is now believed to have entered a transitional region, a liminal space between what we know and what lies beyond, a place where our laws of physics may no longer apply. The majority of the scientific community remains cautious. They analyze, observe, and argue. But now, a well-known Nobel Prize winner in physics has made a rare, unsettling statement. Voyager 1 is detecting patterns that cannot be reconciled with our current models of the universe. We may be seeing evidence of another domain, another structure of space itself. He did not call it another dimension, but many are already wondering. Could Voyager 1 be brushing against the edge of something else entirely? A multiverse? a boundary of simulated space or even the outskirts of a cosmic structure that we cannot comprehend. Yet imagine, among the new data, scientists discovered a rhythmic fluctuation. A pulse from Voyager 1's home region recently traversed the area. This signal is not the background noise of nature. It's structured, timed, and repeating. Initially, it was dismissed as interference or a fault in the instruments, but the pattern was consistent, matching no known stellar phenomenon. It wasn't from a pulsar, not a quasar, and there is no known source of radiation. Then came the unsettling realization. The pulse seems to be reacting. It appears in some windows increase slightly after each. The data on Voyager explodes, 
as if something out there was listening and responding. One of the engineers working on decoding Voyager's latest transmissions made a curious observation. When visualizing the magnetic field variations as a three-dimensional model over time, a shape began to emerge. It wasn't random. There was no noise. It looked like a spiral framework, repeated with near-perfect symmetry. It may now be, according to some, a gravitational lattice, a cosmic grid beyond our current understanding. Others go further, suggesting it could be the far-off artificial structure's signature outside our solar system or even our universe. Either way, it has no precedent in astrophysics. And yet, Voyager 1 flew directly through it. Voyager 1's onboard systems have exhibited erratic behavior, but not in the way you'd expect from an aging spacecraft. Its internal orientation sensors are now reporting contradictory positions simultaneously, as if the spacecraft exists in more than one coordinate space at once. Still more bizarre, its signal has shown tiny but measurable variations in transmission speed, suggesting it may be passing through regions where the fabric of space-time is distorted. This isn't just instrument decay. Some scientists are now subtly suggesting that Voyager has entered a variable area, a dimensional space, a concept theoretical physicists once confined to chalkboards and whiteboards. It now exists, and Voyager is right in the middle of it. When Voyager was launched, it was never intended to leave the solar system. Its main mission was to observe the gas giants and then drift naturally. However, more than four decades later, it is doing something far more profound, revealing the true shape of reality itself. What began as a journey past the planets has become a voyage into the universe's undiscovered architecture. And here's the irony. The spacecraft that carries the golden record, the message from humanity to the cosmos, may be the first to receive one in return. Voyager 1 was never meant to go this far. It began in the 1970s, with technology powered by less computing power than a digital watch, and aimed at planets we thought we understood. But now, 45 years later, it's sending back data that is forcing Nobel Prize winning scientists to rethink the very nature of the universe. A pulse that appears to be a signal, a shape hidden in magnetic noise and spatial flaws that point to multiple perspectives and a journey that now seems less like an escape from our solar system and more like an encounter with something else. Something ancient, something that transcends physics, something watching. The spacecraft meant to be our ambassador to the stars may have found the edge of reality or worse, something on its opposite side. So now we ask, does Voyager 1 continue to explore space or is it revealing that space, as we thought we were aware, had already ended? Let us know what you think in the comments. Has Voyager truly crossed into a new dimension of space? Or are we merely beginning to observe the initial indications that we were never alone in the universe? Subscribe and turn on notifications, because the next transmission from Voyager could be the message we've been waiting for since the dawn of time.